right. Well, and we're in the last great stretch. And I know if you're like me, you just had a fantastic lunch. And if you don't watch out, you might fall asleep. So we have a great publication designer. What could be better than that in, a, in an afternoon conference? We have Francesco Franchi, uh, who I had the pleasure of, of listening to in Washington last year. And here he came to New York. Thank you, Francesco. Thank you. Yay! Good afternoon, and uh, thank you for inviting me here uh, in New York. My name is uh, Francesco Franchi. I'm uh, from Italy, and I work for uh, this magazine. It's called Il Magazine, uh, which is the supplement of an Italian financial and economical newspaper called Il Sole 24 Ore. And I've been the art director of this magazine uh, since the beginning, so since uh, uh, 2008. I'm going to speak uh, um, this afternoon about uh, editorial design, about how we uh, work, how we play with type inside the newsrooms. Um, but I'd like to start with uh, two key points. First of all, uh, um, I think we are living uh, a sort of golden age for, uh, for magazines, um, because uh, even if uh, um, a few years ago we believed that uh, uh, print um, was dead, uh, we we did uh, two covers uh, alluding the survival of print, for example, uh, typographic, a typographic one and an illustrated one. Um, the typographic one is, uh, is a quote, is a quote from uh, Mark Twain, uh, reports of my, my dad are greatly uh, exaggerated. And uh, um, we did uh, this two uh, cover story about magazine because uh, we still believe in print, we still believe in a magazine. And nowadays we are seeing magazine about uh, different topics about uh, every human uh, passion. Uh, for example, uh, this is uh, a magazine speaking about uh, curves. Um, so, or uh, we can see magazine about bikes or football. Uh, and our independent magazines on our magazine uh, that young designer, talented designer, uh, young people, they started to publish by uh, themselves. Uh, we can see also there is a, a new uh, wave of erotic magazine, new erotic magazine. In the same time, uh, um, we are seeing there is uh, also a new retail model for magazines. So uh, we can see new experiments like uh, this uh, cafe uh, from The Guardian, London, or uh, Monocle. Monocle did uh, another experiment. Uh, in this uh, kiosk, you can buy different magazines from all over the world. Uh, there, are around, uh, there is a sort of menu uh, with 2,000 and um, 500 uh, newspapers coming from all over the world. So they printed the uh, newspaper in real time uh, for you in, uh, in this shop. Or Mac Culture, for example, uh, recently opened in London a, a newsstand. Um, so uh, I believe in digital, but uh, um, as I said before, I still believe uh, in print. And uh, I think that we have to, uh, to think digital and print like uh, the, same, uh, the same thing. So uh, what we need now is a sort of uh, think in digital, uh, like a great opportunity to develop new form of business, but we have also to requalify paper, because I think paper is, uh, uh, is a luxury, um, so is uh, because we all uh, we like to, uh, to own a magazine uh, to, fill, to fill the paper. So I think uh, it's, uh, um, it's a good moment for, uh, for a designer to work in, uh, in this market. Uh, a few years ago, I um, wrote this book um, titled Designing News, and this book uh, uh, is a collection of, is a research, but it's also a collection of different case studies where the design and the designer, um, they played an important role inside the newsroom. So we have a case studies from uh, the Times, uh, from Bloomberg Business Week, from the New York Times. We have also an important case studies about uh, the role of typography inside uh, newsrooms. Um, I told you that design, design is important. Design is important because uh, it's not just the latest step, it's not just related to aesthetic aspect, but uh, uh, design means organization, means uh, uh, organizing the content in the, in the page, organizing the content across the different channels, uh, means organizing also the workflow inside, uh, inside the newsroom. So uh, using these two quotes, uh, I can say that uh, the designer work like uh, an organizer and a planner with an aesthetic sense inside a newsroom. Um, a few years ago, uh, eight years ago, we, uh, we started to publish this magazine. This was the first issue with Obama in, uh, in the cover. And when we started this magazine, we look at the uh, historical panorama, historic Italian panorama. So from uh, a magazine coming from 60s and 70s, like L'Europeo, L'Espresso, but also newspaper coming from that period. This is uh, 
a front page designed by Pier Giorgio Maloney for the Messaggero, which is a, a newspaper published in Rome. Um, and we can see they, Pier Giorgio Maloney with Vasquale Prunas, they started a new graphic design project for this newspaper in Italy. But we uh, took inspiration also from magazine coming from North Europe, like Town or Twen, that I think they were the um, most important editorial example in that period. Um, so we try to, uh, to keep the key aspect of the typography of that uh, period, uh, using the accent grotesque and mixing with the more contemporary newspaper designed by Christian Schwartz and Paul Barnes, called Publico. So we can see uh, different layouts from the first um, edition of the magazine, so we can see how we mix the, uh, the typography, how we were close uh, to the winter side, um, so taking inspiration from that kind of references. And what we, ca uh, what we tried to do uh, in Italy was to, uh, to rethink a bit to the um, Italian editorial panorama, to think uh, in uh, two ways. First of all, about workflow, and in second times, uh, about uh, new solution, visual solution, new languages. Um, what about workflow? Um, we create a, a, um, a small newsroom uh, inside the huge one of the newspaper, and uh, we were able to create a new form of working, uh, mixing uh, the journalistic uh, department and the graphic design department. So uh, we work very close, designer and uh, journalist. So uh, the content and the form, uh, they work uh, um, together. And we try to, uh, to introduce this kind of approach. So we kind of, this is uh, um, a Bottega Rinascimentale. So uh, this means we are all the infographic, all the illustration, all the things that I'm going to show you um, today, um, most of them we produce inside, uh, uh, inside the newsroom. So we have uh, um, five, six uh, graphic designer, and they work with illustration, with type, with different, uh, with different things. Um, we, try we try to uh, renew the, uh, the languages, so we try to introduce uh, different visual uh, solutions combining uh, different languages, combining text with data, working with maps, illustration. And uh, so uh, we started uh, publishing pages, double spread pages like this one. So uh, these are attempts to tell stories uh, using data, using illustration, uh, using a non-linear way of reading. So this was uh, about how much we spent in electronic devices and clothes in the world, or this is uh, about the global retail theft, so the product more at risk in the stores in the world, or again, this is about um, only bees and uh, European proposals to uh, stimulate beekeeping throughout Europe. So even when we use illustration, we try to um, give information. So this is the pollination process, for example, or this is a, um, a page um, where we can see the US presence in North Africa um, to limit the terrorist attacks. So we can see uh, the, the drones, the airplanes they use, the area of interest, the different terrorist groups and their uh, leader. And again, uh, this was about the presidential elections in Egypt. So we introduced this sort of beardometer and we try to, to locate the different candidates to the election and uh, to show the more integralist or the less integralist depending by the length of their beard. So uh, this is uh, more or less how we work. So we create a team to work on these pages and uh, composed by an information designer, a journalist, and an illustrator. And they alternate in a process that is more, more or less like uh, this one, starting from the research, organizing the page, and then design and uh, editing the, uh, the text. So the first one is the most important part of the, of the process. With the time, we try to, uh, to merge form and content using this sort of infographic approach. So we can see we develop different sections, different pages. Uh, this is a sort of uh, section for dummies. So we are explaining the finance, the wedding day, uh, the toilet, for example, how a toilet works in different countries for, uh, for dummies, or this is about bikes. So we try to introduce infographics even in the cultural pages of the, of the magazine. So we can see this is a story about the big travelers from the past. So we can see also the Beatles. We try to translate literary piece into B-dimensional map, like in this case, uh, this is uh, a, um, a story uh, written by Borges. So we can see the real world, the narrative world, the world inside the narrative world, and the connection between people and characters and objects inside the story. Or we can see the little prince. We play a lot with type. This is a page uh, telling the meaning of a word. So this is risk and we try working with paper to represent the meaning of the word risk, for example. Or again, this is a word life in Italian, and we try to create this 
uh, this work working with plasticine. And after three years, we uh, reinvent the magazine again. So uh, this was the, uh, the first issue of the redesign. And uh, we move from um, the lifestyle to the, to the news. So we move from the vintage side and we try to be more close to, to the content. We work a lot with the grid of the magazine. Um, this is a grid system developed by Carl Gerster in 1962. And uh, this is uh, a grid composed by 58 units. And 58 is a special number that can be divided into two, three, four, five, and six columns, always keeping two units between uh, the, um, the columns. So um, working with the modularity of the grid and working with the, with the type. So we always mix a serif typeface with a, um, a grotesque one. And in this case, it uh, was the, the Tiempos and the Founders Grotesque designed by Chris Sowersby. And uh, during the times, we changed these uh, two main uh, typefaces. So you can see now we are using the Burgess and the Bezis uh, Grotesque. And all I'm always uh, asking to my editor-in-chief to buy new, uh, new typefaces. So uh, now I'm going to show different uh, pages, different pages from the magazine where we use different, uh, different typefaces. Um, so starting from, uh, from the cover, uh, this was the previous cover of the magazine. Uh, we work together, we work very close uh, with Christian Svartz and Commercial Type. Uh, they uh, designed the logo for us, so these are uh, different proposals for, uh, for the logo. And also the final one was based on the, uh, on the grid of the magazine. So we try to, uh, to design a different kind of, uh, of cover using infographics, uh, using type, like in this case, this was a double special issue. Uh, playing with this flap, for example, this was about the new skyline of Milan. So we show the contrast between the old part of the city and the new one. This was a cover story where we say that the world is ungovernable. So we try to geolocate all the reasons why we believe uh, the world was ungovernable. And again, this are other example of cover where we play and we work with type. Uh, the beginning of the magazine, the front of the magazine. Um, at the beginning, we had a section very close to a newspaper, to the newspaper design. So we can see a uh, few layouts. Uh, was printed on a pink, uh, on a pink paper, uh, in black and white pictures, using a lot of maps, schemes, infographics, or photo reportage. So uh, this line is. Uh, we have the, the section is on pr printed on pink paper, and we have this line uh, that change topic every issue. So we can see the Arab line, this was uh, the ex spanish line about Spain, or this was about election in 2013. So we try to develop this line uh, using uh, uh, illustration, using uh, typography, um, using infographics. And these are other sections we have at the front of the magazine. This is called Foglietone, where we work a lot. Um, with illustration. All these work are made by uh, Maria Corte, uh, who is uh, a, um, a Spanish illustrator. This was about uh, uh, Paris. This was uh, um, a sort of philosophical manual to understand how to build the perfect bullshit, for example. Or <coughs> this was about the curious aspects uh, which identify Italians in the world. Or these are all sections we have at the front of the magazine. This was developed following the, um, the design style of the British tabloids. So we can see um, how we play with type, how we create always special section, always um, new layouts. This was a tabloid the about uh, justice in Italy. Or this was the summer uh, issue, or about tennis. And uh, these are other pages coming from the, uh, the front of the magazine. So you can see always different style, always work and play with, uh, with type. This is a column where we are speaking about graphic design, and uh, every column we, uh, we choose uh, one typeface to use in the master of the, of the column. Uh, the most important part of the magazine is the cover story. And now I'm going to show you uh, different case studies, starting from uh, this one where we play, uh, was about Italian design, and we play with type and illustration in this way. Or this was other issue about, uh, about Italy, where we uh, merged the photography, um, this uh, photo shooting and infographic and about different rankings showing the position of Italy in different, in different topics. This was a cover story about US. Uh, we started from that cover that was designed by Frank Lloyd Wright. 
uh, represent uh, uh, the parade of the 4th of July in the 5th Avenue of New York. So we can see the 5th Avenue, the flags outside of the building. So starting from uh, this layer, we create, uh, <coughs> thanks to a flap, uh, to a, a supplement that we have, we create a, a cover with different, uh, different layers. So inside we explain how the states got their actual shape, or this was about uh, um, a new government in Italy. We believe a new government made by um, engineer, architects, designer. So uh, we take inspiration from Il Politecnico, who was uh, an old newspaper we had in Italy. And uh, we work uh, with this unwritten typeface uh, to show different design uh, method design schemes. Or this was about cyber life. So we work together with Maria Corte. So we can see different ideas, different proposals. This was about cyber sex. <laughs> <laughs> or this, is, uh, um, this was a cover story about tourism on space with Elon Musk. So we always try to, uh, to introduce a double spread pages about uh, an infographic double spread pages like this in this case. Or this was a cover story we did about Bill de Blasio. Actually, this was the initial idea we, we had. <laughs> and even if we try to, uh, to write a short disclaimer, um, our lawyers, they, they, they avoid us to, uh, to go on with this cover, so we have to change uh, the cover. While uh, inside we develop different sections using this kind of uh, um, letterings, uh, showing uh, um, how Italy, Italian people, uh, and uh, all the, uh, the places uh, uh, linked to, uh, to Italy in, uh, in New York. Or again, uh, other idea of cover store, this was about uh, the multinational food companies, and this was about um, flavors, the different flavors. <coughs> so we try to explain in this way uh, how this multinational company, how they produce these uh, flavors for, uh, for food. So, for example, uh, uh, the cheese flavors is produced isolating molecules coming from uh, these kind of fruits and vegetables. Um, we work together also with uh, Jessica Ish, for example, for this, uh, uh, for this cover. And um, I saw that uh, uh, when we design a cover, it's also important to design a cover uh, that works on a social network. For example, my editor-in-chief, uh, before to, uh, to approve a cover, is always uh, looking at it on, uh, on his uh, uh, iPhone. Um, so we try to promote the, uh, every time the new, uh, the new issue throughout the, uh, the social network, and we develop teaser like this one to, uh, to present the, uh, the magazine. And again, other uh, cover story where we work a lot with, uh, with type. Uh, this was uh, um, about Tony Blair, the third way. So um, this idea with text coming from uh, Tony Blair, Bill Clinton, uh, Matteo Renzi, and Manuel Valls. This was the teaser we developed for this cover story. <coughs> This was another cover story about the new World Trade Center. Or uh, again, playing with type, this was a uh, uh, summer issue. So we can see um, we play with this uh, um, GT optic typeface and the Rotalic uh, version. Or this was one of the latest issues we, uh, we published, was about US gain. Uh, we worked together with Andrea Ventura. Uh, who is uh, an Italian illustrator based in uh, Berlin, and we, um, we illustrate different portraits of American people. We printed four different covers, and we also produce a, um, a special edition printed on canvas. So we can see um, all the portraits we, uh, we illustrate and other pages from the, from the inside. And very quickly, other ideas, and uh, this was about Rome, and um, again, we try to represent the hipster uh, side of Rome with this small guide, or this was about Russia and Putin. And in every cover story, we develop uh, infographic pages, um, like this one, for example, or uh, this was one of the latest uh, cover stories about Brexit. And uh, we try to illustrate all the, uh, the reason why we love uh, UK. 
And uh, um, very, uh, very quickly, uh, I can show you other pages and other style, other ideas, and uh, how we work always with type in the other part of the, of the magazine. Sometimes we develop comics to tell uh, stories. Sometimes we play with illustration and type, like in this case. Or this was uh, um, a story written by Paul, Bar Paul Berman uh, about Evil. So we create uh, this sort of monster um, which destroyed the column of text. Or this was an infographic section about uh, uh, new construction, building roads, railways. And again, infographics. Again, other section. This was about the, um, the school reform in Italy or the jobs uh, reform or the music. So um, you can see every time we try to reinvent the magazine, every time uh, we try to introduce uh, new visual languages. Uh, like in this case, we work together with the tattooer in Italy or other section of the magazine. And um, these are all the uh, sections related to lifestyle or an interview or working together with Emiliano Ponzi. And this is about uh, design in Italy, or this is about basket, or um, this is a special section uh, we developed to explain to uh, our Italian readers uh, who, uh, how is uh, a hipster, well, what is a hipster. Or this is uh, um, a sex, the sex issue uh, we developed together with Malika Favre, with infographics again. And um, we're going very close to the, to, end, to the end of this presentation. Uh, the latest part of the magazine is called the Rane, uh, which means frogs uh, in Italian. Rane um, took inspiration from uh, the Futurist magazine, um, as we can see, for example, La Cerba. Uh, we work again very close uh, with Christian Svartz and Commercial Type to develop the mustard of this uh, section. <coughs> and this section is completely infographic typographic and illustrated. So we can see it's printed on a green uh, paper. And uh, we introduce this uh, typeface, the graphic condensed. And we also uh, develop a sort of alphabet with different frogs doing different things that are related to the, uh, to the different pieces of this section. So we use uh, frogs inside infographic, inside headlines. We illustrate huge frogs as well. For example, this was uh, a written piece about languages. So we try to uh, illustrate the sound of frogs in the different languages and different frogs coming from different parts of the world. <coughs> or uh, we work a lot with, uh, as I said, with infographics again, a uh, scientific page, uh, or uh, working with this literary uh, network and uh, type. So the idea was uh, always to develop a sort of poster, so every uh, double uh, spread page has to be like, uh, like a poster. Uh, we work also together with Raymond Biesinger, Biesinger to develop a special section of Rane. Um, so it was uh, around uh, 60, uh, 60 pages uh, with different uh, written uh, uh, stories, long stories, uh, fiction stories. Um, and Biesinger illustrated the, uh, the whole history of futurism. Uh, so the cult of war, the cult of machine, uh, the cult of the war. Uh, the cult of the um, industrial area, the speed, uh, for example. And this is a new section, completely typographic section, uh, at the back of the, of the magazine we are publishing uh, since the beginning of this uh, year, and it's called Explicit. Um, unfortunately, mostly of the, uh, the pages and the work I show you is in Italian, so I think it's really hard uh, for you to, uh, to understand. But uh, fortunately, we, uh, we published a book um, that is going to be uh, releasing in the uh, in US in a, in a few weeks. And uh, this is the whole story of the magazine. Um, so it's divided into different uh, chapters. Every uh, chapter is a section of the magazine. Uh, we are speaking about uh, um, the infographics, for example. So uh, we are telling, we translated all the content of these pages uh, for a, a more international uh, audience. Before uh, to close, um, I'd like to show you uh, um, our new website. So we, we launched the website at the beginning of this, this year. And this is a short movie, uh, a short video, which explains the project of the website.
So we design the website inside in the in the newsroom, and we try to uh, to stay very close uh, to the um, to the content and to idea of the idea of the of the magazine. So I'd like to say thank you for uh, for listening, and again for inviting me in uh, in New York. Thank you. <coughs> Thank <laughs> you.